Hey there guys, Jeed here, casting a ZG EUW Game Night, the first of three games on this brilliant EUW Game Night. It is an all randomal mid with these lovely individuals that you see before you right now, most of whom have skins, and I'm actually rather impressed by that. Shame on Raging Bone, Bash Dice, and Eyebreeze for not having skins. What's the matter with you individuals? Anyway, this should be quite a fun quite a fun game, if I'm being perfectly honest. There's a nice amount of initiate and CC on blue team, and this is one of the things that I would be commenting on if it was not an all random or mid. But seeing as it is an all random or mid, and that Lily has taken Ghost on Janna. Hmm. Uh, anyway, here we go. Everyone is phasing through the Nexus. That is exactly how you want to play your game. So, looking at blue team, we have a Super Teemo who will definitely carry the team. Lamba Delta is the Demon Rise. We have Twisted Fate, Hextech, Janna, Lily, and Sad Knight and Mumu. Hecabo taking its time to get those health pots. But as in standard, all random or mid fashion, everyone will end up standing around the mid lane. Because standing around and dancing is how you want to play the game. You always want to outsmart your opponent via the form of dance. So, anyway. Looking at red team right now, or purple if you're actually in game, <laughs> we have the Gangster Twitch, played by Ten Ninja. We also have a Volcanic Wukong who happens to be not here. Where is he? Aha! There he is, the Flaming Monkey of Awesome Death. So, we have the Flaming Monkey. We also have a Lord Darius. Lots of kill stealing action coming out from KZ Soul. We also have Bash Dice playing as the Lee Sin. And Ivory's playing as Lux. Lux, who's already mana staffed, already down to half mana, and the game hasn't even started yet. Lily is just spinning around and taking a bit of poke damage because that's how you want to play as Janny. You always want to stick your squishy champion in front and end up being poked down. Loco deciding to be rather sneaky and actually going on to Ivory's. Loco taking a bit of poke damage for his trouble as well. Wukong has finally decided to make his actions worth moving. He's actually heading out of his base right now. That is how you want to play the game. Movement is always helpful. Lily shielding herself from no incoming damage, but then everyone's going on to Lily, and Lily actually taking a couple of stacks and hemorrhage, and Bash Dice sending the blue ball of doom out towards Lily's way. Loco, in the meantime, as Timo, just standing around, not doing anything helpful, having a green mist around him. That green mist was certainly, is certainly the power behind his camouflage. And anyway, Wukong is on his way. He has a regrowth pendant and three health bars. That's a rather nice setup in this all round more mid, where there is no <laughs> farm actually happening in this game. Aside from farming champions, and Timo makes his mark, going on to Twitch, 10 Ninja. Which used to actually half help. So I like the initiate potential for blue team right now. They've got a nice snare in the form of Lamb Delta who's decided to stop moving. They also have a good stun in the form of Raging Bone. They have Hecabo who can actually just completely just he can just zoom straight into their team because it's a Moo Moo. Bandage Toss allows you to do that. Also, you've got the Janna knockup, and that is a pretty good ability. It covers a lot of ground. That's a nice knockup. Speaking of Janna, she's actually down to half health right now. I just have a quick look at the summoners. None have gone down yet, which is very interesting indeed. Lily actually shielding herself from Ten Ninja. Ten Ninja taking loads of damage. The, the snare goes down. First blood down goes to Raging Bone. Lily will end up escaping thanks to a heal and Hecabo just goes straight in. Nice knockoff onto Hawkeye. Hawkeye taking Ren's massive damage. Actually having to flash away. Ibreeze now the focus of everyone aside from Lamba Delta who's decided to flash and actually kill KZ Soul. But Darius in the meantime Bash Dice walking around the side and picking up Jan and Bash Dice will actually be able to escape thanks to the bouncy bounciness of Lee Sin. And just like that, it's 2 for 1. 5k gold to 4.1k. That doesn't matter, because it's an all-random or mid. Bash Dice, not in a good position right now. Bash Dice taking a random amount of damage. Loco having to back off, and loads of summoners have been popped. Aside from Twitch's flash, Hawkeye's ignite, Lily's ghost, and Hecabo's flash, all summoners are down in that space of one minute. A lot of action happening there. 
And of course, because this is an all round more mid game, Lux cannot go back. High Breeze is stuck there for the dawn of time until he ends up dying. I played Lux and all around more mid recently. It was rather fun just because. Oh, wow, Hecabo actually pouncing onto a Hawkeye clone. So, anyway. I played Lux recently, and Lux was fun because I happened to be teamed w up with a rather nice Nautilus. Nautilus would just grab someone and then I'd snare them, then Fizz would pounce and pick up the kill. That happened about 20 times in the row before people started to stay away from Nautilus. Loco going in all by himself, that is how you want to play the game. Hecabo using the spin to win on Hawkeye, but Hecabo is actually mana starved right now, as is Loco. Hecabo is down to auto attacks as is Ranging Bone and Loco, but with them being ranged champions shouldn't be much of an issue. Lily shielding herself and heading straight towards everyone. Loco taking a fair amount of damage and as is Hawkeye. Wow, that Amumu. Amumu goes down. Raging Bone is in a world of hurt, just taking bullets from 10 Ninja's machine gun. Ash Dice pouncing about all over the place. Loco, Lamba Delta and Lily still sticking around. Raging Bone, health start right now. And that is his major issue. Started out with a Doran's Blade. A bit of an AD uh, Twisted Fate coming out down there. So the fact that he started with a Doran's Blade is completely iffy, in my opinion. I'm calling it iffy just because... Whoa, Hecabo, Hecabo, Hecabo! It's not even Hecabo. It's Ex Loco. I am completely stupid. Anyway, Timo gets completely annihilated by a giant axe to the face because that is how you play this game. Anyway, I was speaking about AD Twist of Fate. Uh, taking a Doran's Blade first item is not necessarily the best move in the world, mainly because you don't have any type of sustain in that lane. Unless you start out with, let's say, a Vampire Acceptor to get a bit of life steal from those minuscule auto attacks. Raging Bone taking a rent amount of damage. Actually baited. Lamba Delta will end up picking up the kill. Lily, health stuff, knocking everyone up for a strike. Lily taking loads of damage. Ex Loco going in on. Going on. Ten Ninja and Ten Ninja takes down the friendly neighborhood Janet whilst devoting his own life to the cause. Bash Dice currently level 4 and still heading about the place. In fact, Ex Loco actually being rubbed. <coughs> Excuse me, Ace Loco is actually being rather aggressive in this game. Especially up against a Darius, that's not the best move in the world. Raging Bone is just standing around, still health stuffed. Event occasionally he got poked down, but then again, could be worse for him. He could have half of his health, and that would indeed be worse. Ex Loco being pulled in by Soul Soul, actually being pounced on by a Mumu Hecbo. Actually doing a fair amount of damage, Ex Loco having to fall back, he's now the one who's health staffed along with Raging Bone. Now, Lamba Delta is once again doing nothing and reading a book. Because that is... ouch. That does not look good for the Teemo. Teemo is certainly in a world of hurt, as is Soul. Soul taking loads of damage, but Hecbo will end up going down... Oh, will he? Ten Ninja has been getting knocked up by everyone. Lamba Delta decided to pounce, flashing away, but not managing to escape the Mafia. The Mafia Twitch. Lily actually going on to 10 Ninja and completely destroying the Vermin Rat. Nice job by Lily, and now it's by Bash Dice's 10. Double kill for the DL. Nice job by Lily there to secure those two kills. 8 to 6, gold count 10.5 to 9, but that doesn't really matter because it's an all random med. Hawkeye and Ibreeze, the only ones holding up the defense right now. Raging Bone actually has a bit of health. A couple of summoners are beginning to come back. A couple of flashes and a heal are already down. Raging Bone popping it straight away and automatically losing that health. Key Soul ends up going in, but Raging Bone flashing away to avoid that Darius. Very good indeed. Lamb Delta once again standing around, and yes, I am using direct to camera because of that. Just that little bit lazy. Bash Dice is the focus of a Mumu right now, and Mumu in a world of hurt because Teninja has suddenly spawned. Teninja actually getting destroyed by everyone. Lamba Delta picking up a kill. Now Lily is in a world of hurt, but Lamba Delta actually picks up a double kill in the form of a Lee Sin. Triple kill. Wow, nice play by Lamba Delta. He's actually going in on this. 
Twisted Fate picks up that one. High Breeze goes down. Quadra kill for Lama Delta. The only one with the only one with mana and health at the end of that one. Nice play by him. He's now got seven kills, one death and four assists. He will hurt when he ends up going back next time. That is a lot. That's a lot of gold on Lambda Delta. Oh. That Teemo. Is that allowed? I don't know. Ah, oh, well. Let's have. Ten Ninja. That is sneaky, Ten Ninja. You're not allowed to do that. Not on Lily. Get out. So, Rise is currently sitting on 4k gold. That is a lot of gold. He already has his Tier of Goddess. It's not stacked in the slightest. But, oh well. That must have been quite a recent purchase. He's actually laughing. Why he's laughing? I have no idea. But Ryze cannot hold this defense all by himself. And there's the stun. Loads of damage will be going off onto Lamb Delta. Lambert may actually survive due to poison. He will survive. The poison not quite doing enough. Ten Ninja taking a fair amount of damage from the turret. A lot of damage from the turret. Hawkeye unfortunately disconnecting. That's something that we don't like to see. Ex Loco still being very aggressive as that Teemo. Teemo is, of course, the Super Teemo. Hecubo still wrapping everyone up in bandages, possibly going to go on to bash the ice here. Oh, Hecubo actually getting stunned. Now they're turning on to Hecubo. Hecubo gets completely annihilated, as does Ex Loco. Double kill for Ten Ninja Raging Bone. Turning around on to Ten Ninja Raging Bone, having to fall back. Lily now taking everything. A double kill for Lux. Nice laser in the back. Lily, no one picking up a kill but there, but Lama Delta ends up picking up a kill onto Twitch. That was a nice laser by Ibreeze to pick up those two champions that were exceptionally low. Lux is one of those champions that low below really hurts in an all animal mid. In a game where you can't go back, it hurts. It really, really hurts. So, Ryze has now picked up... Wow, that's a lot of gold. Lamb Delta has picked up his... What's it called? Glacial Shroud and two Cloth Armors. That hurts. That is an exceptionally tanky item on the rise. Nice job by him. And the makings of a frozen heart. Not quite enough to get it, unfortunately. In fact, let's have a quick look. He's got 200 cash in hand. Yeah, definitely not enough. Bash dice actually being baited in. He's just to bait in Hecubo. Hecubo getting completely destroyed by KZ's soul. Soul actually gets his kind of bag, but Raging Bone coming in around the bag, getting kicked backwards, and Bash dice will be dying for his trouble. No, he won't. Ten Ninja will be dying for his trouble instead. Lamba Delta on the offensive. Will he pick up no one? Yes, he will. Triple kill for Lamba Delta. He's already had a quadrant. He's already had a triple. He's had multiple doubles in this game. Nice job by Lamba Delta so far. 11 kills on him right now. The closest thing that red team have right now is... Oh, Lamba Delta. Oh. That Lamba Delta. Okay, fair play. Good job to him. So, what I was saying about 11 kills, uh, strike that out, cross all 11s off and write a 12 instead. Nice job for him, that's a lot of gold on one champion. And he is sufficiently tanky to not worry about all this AD coming out from everyone, including Sol, Tin Ninja, Hawkeye when he comes back. Hecubo taking a lot of damage from Tin Ninja, will he end up surviving? He flashes away, but the poison gets him anyway. Poison and the hemorrhage ends up causing a sad mummy. Ten Ninja going invisible. No pink wards around here. Ten Ninja still hanging around. How much invisibility does he have left? Let's have a quick look. Still got more than half a second of invisibility. Still hanging around. Maybe going to try and pick something up on the Raging Bone. Raging Bone taking loads of damage and Lambda Delta just turns around and kills him. <laughs> And a good amount of team laughter, rather. But anyway, Lux with the ship away, picking up Raging Bone. Lux is currently sitting on 6, 3, and 6. That's a nice amount of damage coming out from Lux because of the Rod of Ages and the Catalyst. No doubt to turn into a Rod of Ages. In an Aura Admiral mid, that really makes sense. Just because it's a nice snowball item that is allowed in the official rules. And Rod of Ages, you can get it quite early on in Aura Animal Mid if you get the kills. You know where the champions are, and you know that you can pick up the kills, especially as someone as Lux. And the fact that 
well, just Rod of Ages is a brilliant item. That's all I really have to say about that. Hecabo going straight on to Bash Eyes, trying to force something down. It's Loco getting stunned. It's Loco taking Brown Mountain damage. Lambda Delta having put the stun down. Bash Eyes just going straight in. He will go down. Lily picks up the kill. And this Demarcian guillotine of justice onto the Teemo. Lily and Raging Bone both being injured here. Raging Bone taking the Luminescent Singularity to the face. And in the meantime, Lava Delta uses ultimate on a creep wave because that is how you play Rise. Whew, 10 Ninja still hanging around like the plagued vermin that he is. Pink, Pink Ward actually goes down. It is out of range of turret, which is awesome. Lily ends up getting pulled in. KG Soul taking a fair amount of damage from everyone as well. <laughs> Nice amount of team laughter going on. I like the I like the synergy in this team. Lux's laser doesn't quite go down. Lamadelta picking up a kill on Twitch, and he's now legendary. Really? Wow, legendary. Lily putting loads of damage down onto Breeze. Breeze ends up going down. Will Lily survive? No, she won't, but maybe Soul ends up going down to the Lamadelta again. Bash dice, only one left. Another double kill for Lambdelt. Lambdelt is currently sitting on 17 kills. When they kill him next time, he'll have 3,500 gold to spend. That is a rod of ages, and then some. That's enough for the Frozen Heart and the makings of a Rabadon. He is going to hurt when he comes back from lane next time. So, this game is certainly in favour of Blue Team. The Lambdelt Quadra Kill, I think, made up for that. So Ten Ninja using the spray and prairie, possibly to get Lambda Delta, but Ten Ninja ends up picking up a raging bone instead, saving the turret on a ridiculously low amount of health. 84, just a couple of autos actually would have been fine. Ten Ninja getting ultimated by a Mumu, actually flashing away and using the heal as well. Ten Ninja will end up surviving. Lee Sin, I don't know why the director cameras are taking me there because Oh Ten Ninja. Teemo shrooms. <laughs> Teemo shrooms. That's all I really have to say about that. Bash Dice just taking loads of damage. Darius ends up picking up a kill using that spin to win. Lily knocking everyone away. She will survive, but that was a 2 0 cost in favour of Red Team. And now let's see what Lambda Delta gets. He's got his frozen heart. Okay, that, one's a, that one was a given. Let's see what else there is. Oh, Raging Bone actually taking a bit of damage as soon as he warps in. Bash Dice is quite far back and also a little bit health starved. That's not exactly how you want to play the game. You always want to be completely health starved when you initiate on a team. And Ryze has just bought a straight up Rod of Ages. That is a nice amount of mana. And as everyone knows, Ryze scales with that mana. It's really helpful getting the mana just to do that extra bit of damage. And of course, you won't have to be mana starved because you have mana. But buying a straight out Rod of Ages is just completely insane. And seeing as. Well, he's got a Tear of the Goddess next. I'm expecting Rama Delta to get at least two or three more kills before this turret ends up going down, which will most likely be enough for that Archangel staff. Archangel's the brilliant item on Rise, the mana stacker, because Rise can just turn all of that mana into just. into pure ability power. And it's a really good item that Syndra as well with the ride. Nice whirlwind, that does completely nothing. That is always helpful. Lama Delta currently hit level 10. No one else in this game is level 10 yet. And they're completely pouncing onto X Loco. X Loco taking loads of damage, but Hawkeye just completely turns around. Hang on, Hawkeye was back. Never mind, Lily's taking horrendous amounts of damage and Soul goes down. Double kill from Lambda Delta. Lambda Delta, once again, he's turning around, possibly going to go on to Ninja. Ninja goes down. That was a triple kill. Does he have a flash available? Yes, he does. There's the quadra kill and High Breeze. He's not going to get away that easy. Will he end up dying? Oh. That was such a brilliant pentakill opportunity. That Lambda Delta couldn't quite capitalize on. He just didn't have the cooldowns there, unfortunately. And he was also snared under turret, which is not a nice place to be. Ibreeze, the only one left, having to defend himself against three champions right now. Not a nice place to be, and Lambda Delta has taken a of damage. I can expect Ibreeze to pull down a second now, too. Oh! He doesn't die any second now. Oh, a nice snare keeping Saul at bay. And Saul. Hang on, how much health does Breeze have? 
It's currently sitting on 25. That is a nice amount. Lamb Delta actually falling back to his turret. Of course, he can't actually recall, and 10 Ninjas are just going to turn around and shoot him in the face. Because that's how you play your self champions. You hang around to wait until they're below 100 health, and then shoot them. Improve your skill. <laughs> so, the game is still in favour of blue team. The two turrets have certainly helped the entire team. Of course, that global gold is <coughs> very nice indeed. Lily knocking everyone else up and being able to keep herself alive. Lily actually taking a fair amount of damage. Oh, Breeze's ultimate. Did it hit anyone? I believe not a raging bone. The focus of everyone's targets now, which is rather nice. Ibreeze still sitting on 100 health. That's exactly how you play. Ex Loco hanging around. Bash Dice hanging just around the corner. I believe that's proper or random or mid strategy, but don't quote me on it. To Ninja being stealth. Where's he gonna go? Who's he gonna pounce on? Eh, it doesn't matter. Ibreeze sending down the snare that does completely nothing, which is awesome. Down goes the snare, Luminous and Singularity. It actually picks up a bit of Lily. Hecabo just being the kind of tank and initiator in this game. Hecabo, he just ends up bandage tossing straight in and expecting Lamba Delta to be on clean up duty, which most of the time he is, if I'm being perfectly honest. Lambert currently sitting on 21 kills. That's a completely insane amount. 21 kills out of 30 is, as I just said, is completely insane. Teninja actually hanging around, possibly going to go for Lily, but also commit suicide at the same time. Will Lily go down? Whoa. Okay, right. That. Let me just pause that for a second there. Okay. How long ago was that? I'm going to go to a minute back. I just want to express this point for a second. Oh, I actually went quite far back. I'm actually going to double speed it for a second. And the focus of my camera is actually... It's going to be what directed camera actually wants, which is awesome. Uh, hang around, hang around. Come on. Da, 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 da. Imagine elevator music coming out from my mouth right now. Okay. Where's Twitch? Twitch is actually going to run straight down the middle in a second. Ivory is actually being reduced to 70 health. Okay, this is the thing that I'd like to draw your attention to. Teninja just being rather stealthy. Just going to aim at Lily here. And now this is the moment. Okay, you see down there? You see down there? That is a Janna Whirlwind. And what do you want to do with the Janna Whirlwind? You want to have your 99 health champion stand directly in front of your Janna Whirlwind. I'm actually going to slow it down really low. Lambda Delta just killing Lily in time and... Oh. Okay, there's the Whirlwind. There's your champion. What does your champion do? Tries to fire the ultimate straight through the Whirlwind and it doesn't go off in time. Just going to rewind by a couple of seconds. Okay, I want to see Lily's health at this time and how clutch this was. I know I'm really emphasizing this point, but this is like the clutchest thing I've ever seen ever. Okay. Down goes. Come on, Whirlwind. Make your move. Okay, here we go. That would have been a direct hit. That whirlwind. That's all I can really say on the matter. That whirlwind. Play of the day right there. Nice job to Lily. Granted, I haven't seen the other two games yet, but that whirlwind. I'm just going to keep on saying that whirlwind. Just because I want to. And that monsoon. Nice amount of healing coming out from Lily. This game will possibly be done rather shortly. Possibly. I don't entirely know. In fact, I'm just going to skip ahead a bit so I can actually get back to the live action. Whoa! Okay, what on earth just happened? Shared loads of stuff. A couple of kills here, a couple of kills there. Lambda Delta died once again and went to the Void Staff. I know that much. There is a more of Melmorsius and Darius. And the Frozen Heart unleashed. Not Frozen Heart, Frozen Mallet. 
excuse me. Nice pink ward, right beside 10 Ninja. That's how you want to play your stealth champions, right beside a pink ward. And Loco taking horrendous amounts of damage. He will actually survive as well, which is rather impressive. Kudos to him. Going in on to 10 Ninja. 10 Ninja getting really annihilated, as does Hawkeye, and as Bash dies. And now the two champions are on the run. KZ Soul ends up going down. Twisted Fate walking out in front of Freeze. And that's the third quadra kill for Lambda Delta. That's right, count them. Three quadra kills for Lambda Delta. This turret will not. It'll have another thing. That turret falls over in awe of Lambda Delta's rise. Currently 27 for 5 for 10. And yeah, good job on him. I would. I would have liked to have seen that Tier of Goddess be turned into an Archangel staff, but it's nothing essential. Right, Red Team are beginning to respawn right now, and this is a last ditch defense up against Hecabo and everyone and being completely destroyed by Lambda Delta, as does Ted Ninja, having to burst heal as well. Lily doing a fair amount of damage onto Bash Dice, ultimate by Lux goes down, Hecabo will actually survive. Bash Dice ends up going down, Raging Bone pick up to kill Hecabo. Ends up dying due to a luminescent singularity from Lux. And Breeze will walk away completely scot free. Lambda Delta and Raging Bone, the only two champions with a bit of health on Blue Team. And if it looks like I'm focusing Blue Team, that's because I'm on directed camera and I don't get to choose. Wow, okay, Lambda Delta turning around and saying, No, you're mine, Lux. And now the turrets are open for engagement. Lily actually hanging around, everyone's actually hanging around, Lambda Delta deciding to have a lap fest because that's how you play Rise, you always use that grimacing chuckle to try and make something happen. Bash Dice, Hawkeye and KZ Soul in charge of the defence, to Ninja and Ivory is the two fed people on this team, aside from Darius of course, will be back momentarily. That's a ninth death, death score for Ninja right now. 14 deaths, that is always nice. And Loco. Ooh, that did not look nice. KZ Soul. That was just not nice in the slightest. Lily has been going down due to Ninja. Lambert Delta on the run and actually turns around and completely one shots Hecarim. Not Hecarim, it's Hawkeye. Rise will actually escape on a godlike. 30 kills for him. 5 deaths and 13 assists. I'm actually going to skip ahead a little bit forward because apparently I'm not live yet. Okay, I'm alive now. Uh, 2 seconds, that's close enough. Lambda Delta is still hanging around because it's not random or mid, you can't go back. 27 and a half minutes in the game, 48 kills to 36, 44.8 gold to 34.3. Gold does not matter in this game as much as it does a regular 5v5. Of course, if you could spend it wherever you want, then gold kind of makes sense. But being ahead of gold in an animal mid only works if you die. In the case of... okay, let's come up with an example of what I mean. In the case of Lux right now, currently sitting on 1.2k gold, not being able to spell it. Ultimate goes down, Raging Bone using a stun on Minion. That's how you play the game. Hawkeye clone being destroyed. Now they're going on to Lily. Bash dice in a world of hurt, as is Tom Ninja. Ninja actually turning around and killing Hecubo. Loads of damage going everywhere. Double kill for Teemo. KG Soul is the only one alive. KG Soul ends up dying. Freeze. Last defender. There we have it. Double kill for Lily. An ace and a. for whoever did that. I assume it's Super Teemo. Because it sounds like the thing that Teemo would do. This does look like the end game. There is a super minion to tank the turrets. There is a fair amount of attack damage in the form of Raging Bone. He has a rather nice bloodthirster and a wit's end for that attack speed. These turrets have another thing coming. Hawkeye and Ten Ninja are up. Bash Ice is now up as well. Now all that's left is the Nexus and Super Teemo. Everyone turning around and completely decimating to Ninja. Lily, in a world of hurt, will she be able to survive? It certainly looks like it, yes she will. Lambda Delta getting a double kill. Lux Ultimate completely missing. Lambda Delta still doing fair amount of damage onto Bash Dice. One more team fight that goes wrong for Red Team. And their Nexus will be going down. One more team fight and that's it, GG. Although, to be fair, it has been GG for a while. It's very much in favour of the blue team right now. 
even though level-wise it's actually fairly similar, in that we have three level 14s, a level 13 and a level 12 on blue team, on red team we have a 14, two 13s, a 12 and a 10. Unfortunately Hawkeye actually being the one to disconnect a bit, a nice move all but keeping everyone in place, Ivory's in a world of hurt, actually surviving due to that shield, Lamp Delta still laying down a barrage of damage. Ten Ninja waiting for an opportunity to pounce on Lily. Ten Ninja actually turning onto Lambda Delta. Not the wisest move in the world because Ten Ninja gets burst down so very easily. And what the knockout by Lily? What? 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 Nice job by Lily to keep that KG Soul at bay. Lily is actually about to die. But Ibreeze can't hit anything. Ibreeze. Not being taken down. Carbo's the only one left. Soul goes down. Raging Bone and Ninja are still trying to duke it out. Breeze and Bashed Ice are still alive. Loco versus Bashed Ice and Breeze. Everyone else ends up dying in a giant cluster fest. I would really like to see Loco just charge in and one shot Breeze. Although I doubt that's going to happen, seeing as Loco doesn't have that much health and Lee Sin can completely decimate him. As soon as he comes close, Breeze can just... He can just use that snare to keep Teemo at bay, meaning that Lee Sin can one-shot him instead. Hawkeye is alive, and the nice shroom takes Breeze to a fairly low amount of health. Thanks, Loco, actually turning invisible, waiting for his team to come along for a bit of assistance. Okay. That was Ninja. Nice job by Loco, but uh, nice job by Ten Ninja, beating the stealth champion at his own game. So, Lily is the first in the fray right now. She can't exactly do a lot of damage because, well, she's... Hang on, AD Janna? I did not notice that. Bash Dice actually being pounced on by everyone. The ultimate, Bash Dice trying to flash away from it. Ten Ninja goes down, Raging Bone doing a nice amount of damage. Hecbo actually being kicked over the wall. Bash Dice still having loads of damage done on him. Lily just turns around to try and kill Hawkeye. Lily will actually go down. Soul picking up the kill. Lapa Delta coming in at the end to kill Steel Bat. Soul actually on a double kill. Will he end up dying? Yes, he will, because Lamba Delta is a little bit evil like that. Lamba Delta currently sitting on 35 kills. 35. Hecabo still in a world of hurt, but as is Breeze. Lamba Delta picking up the kill. Bash Dice is the only one alive. Ten Ninja is up in one second. He's now alive and can pretty much one shot Hecabo right now. I'm not too sure what Hecabo was doing just then. Uh, you're probably trying to bait out that Lee Sin. And it worked. Lee Sin certainly got baited out. Ten Ninja. Ninja being a ninja on Lamba Delta right now, but not ninja enough because Lamba Delta just turns around and completely decimates him. Lamba Delta still hanging around. I hear something in the chat, but I can't hear it because um, that's character statistics. Lamba Delta being pulled in. Everyone bursting down Lamba Delta right now. The Ignite goes down. Hawkeye actually taking a fair amount of damage. Jensen Loco is there to try and help as much as he can. Soul actually goes down, and Lamba Delta survives for a second to see Soul die. Janna is back in the game, as is Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate has his ultimate, so he can pounce in at any moment. There we go, he is pouncing in. Tons of damage going down from this Twisted Fate. Ibreeze ends up being completely destroyed. Bash Dice being pushed away. Is the Nexus even available? Yes it is. This looks like GG, does it? Win the game, people. <laughs> no, they want to kill Hawkeye first. Oh, where am I going? Oh, that's nice. I can actually scroll about. And so, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about the atrocious casting by me. It's kind of difficult to cast more animal made if nothing's happening at the same time. If you understand what I mean, constant action in one specific spot kind of gets a bit boring to cast it all. So, but then again, there we have it. Game 1 of the EW Game Day, the all-round more mid. Next up, the real 5v5. <coughs>